five red lights are on. ABB FIA Formula E World Championship is go in Mexico City. Good start there from Pascal Berline. He gets the drag down towards the first quarter. Look on the outside there. Max Kunter going side by side with Sebastian Buemi through turn one. Buemi just manages to chop the nose off with the two Jaguars following in tow. One of the Andretti's was out a little bit wide at the first corner, but they all managed to filter through turn one and turn two. As the field heads in towards the Forest Soul for the first time. Put a yellow flag out down at turn 11. Looks like that is Lucas de Grassi in the App Cooper who's come into some bother. Look at this as well. Roman Fries trying to make some ground after a difficult start. He goes side by side with Nico Muller in towards the first corner. Gets the move done. Off into the background there. That's Jehan de Ruvela, the rookie in the Maserati, exploring the scenery. Yeah, it's not gone well for him on his debut here, but up at the front. Verline seems to have broken away a little bit there from Sebastian Boemi. Just over a second now, the gap up the front. Yeah. Oh no, that's Nico Muller, the second of the App Coopers into the wall, their hundredth race for App Cooper, and unfortunately it has been a disappointing one. And that's problems there as well for Antonio Felix da Costa, the second of the Porsche suspension damage. I wonder whether those two incidents are related and they've yeah. come to blows. We see a replay here of this is what happened between Muller and da Costa. Da Costa was a bit of a lunge oh, early, wasn't yeah. it? Look at that. So can Verline, now the critical thing, when you get attack mode, is can you use this extra power to get back in front? He didn't have to do that. Buemi moves out of the way, takes attack mode himself. The Jaguar of Nick Cassidy followed him as well. Verline ahead is under investigation, so keep under consuming, keep doing this. So Verline ahead under investigation. It's got a technical infraction, it says. Yeah, but also Dennis and Nato under investigation for a technical infraction. I wonder what that might be. You've got a yellow flag. It's a double yellow 13, as well. So have a look oh, at oh, that's why. That, Robert Frines. Uh, into the wall. His return to Envision has not been a particularly harmonious one. Full course yellow. Yep. Looking at him here. So attack not being taken. Is, is there any contact? No. Just lost the rear, didn't he? Yeah. Maybe just carry a bit too much speed, trying yeah. to stay ahead of that Mahindra car, Edo Mortara. Pretty even, Stevens, as we then get ready to go green flag racing. Backing the pack up there was Sebastian Buemi as he leads the field around the final corner. And at the start of lap 12, we go racing once again here in Mexico City. Watch out, Buemi has got almost the gap to us. Right, and that's what they're saying here. Buemi's got the gap to take attack mode and come out in front, and he duly does. So, a bit of uh, seeing into the future there from the Maserati pit wall. So, Berlin it is that leads the way. Of course, we know that Buemi has got attack mode, but just because you've got that much more power doesn't mean you're going to be able to uh, necessarily take full advantage of that. Now, just a note, by the way, from Race Direction, the earlier incident we saw between Felix da Costa and Muller, the collision, will be investigated post-race. Confirmation there of the two added laps, so 35 to 37 uh, laps we go. And you can see there now, this is just how close it is. Evans, Burn, Hughes, Van Dorn, Dennis, Nato, Roland also not too far adrift of it either, but five cars there all running nose to tail with one another. The technical infraction for Dennis and Verlein, whatever it was at the start, will be investigated after the race. So, uh, well, it might yeah. not be over yet. It might not be over yet. <laughs> Just look at how close this is here. And the frustration, oh, Jeff there having a half look on the inside in towards the Ferrisol. There's no room, though, at the inn because Evans is just able to park the car exactly where Jeff wanted to put it. The, that traffic jam is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You've got Roland Fenster, the Montaro now, coming up behind Evans as well. So we begin the final lap of action then here, down towards the first corner we go with Pascal Berline, 2% of energy remaining, but Amy's got 3%, Cassidy with 3%, but it's all relatively even, Stevens in front. Look at the numbers up there at the top, down to 1%, and they're just balancing up. You'll see the numbers actually creep back up, and that is what I was saying before. They're charging the batteries, under braking and putting energy back in. So final lap, here we go, Tom, into the forest hall. Yeah, what a drive it has been from Pascal Verlein. 1% of energy remaining, but he has controlled this one from lights out to the chequered flag. Team Porsche have done an absolutely superlative job. And as he comes out of the feral soul for the final time, aims for the peril tarder. It is going to be first blood in 2024 for the Tag Heuer Porsche team. It is going to be a second victory in in Mexico City for Pascal Verlein as he comes around the final corner to take the chequered flag and win the Mexico City E Prix here at the Autodromo. Hermanos Rodriguez, Buemi comes home in second. It's Nick Cassidy in third. Max Gunter with a superb fourth place for Team Maserati, and Mitch Evans does hold on to fifth place ahead of Vern, Hughes, Van Dorn, Dennis, and Nato.